Hey guys, it's Jeff with Idello Blog. Have you ever ran into this problem with Safari? You're trying to attach an image to a website and it just isn't happening. This is Craigslist, by the way. And you can see the choose file button is just grayed out. You can't even attach your image. Well, with iOS 6, that is no longer a problem. Notice the choose file button is highlighted. You can tap it and notice that you can actually attach photo or video directly from your iPad without even leaving Safari. Notice this here, choose existing, find my photo. There's my photo and it's just like that. And then you can go, go ahead and upload that particular photo using the new Safari on iOS 6. It's really convenient to have this feature, something that eBayers or Craigslist users are gonna just absolutely love. Now, of course, that isn't all of the new features. Let's check out another new feature. Now, first of all, let me show you on my iPad 2. This is running iOS 5, by the way. Let's see if we can read a reading list item offline. Now, I'm in airplane mode right now. Let's open up our reading list and let's tap that item right there, Muscle Nerd Jailbreaks iOS 6, and guess what? No surprise there, cannot open the page. Now, what happens when you do the same thing on iOS 6? Let's get my iPad 3 over here. There we go, all right. So let's load up Safari on the new iPad and see what happens on iOS 6. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and turn on airplane mode to get us offline there. And now let's open up Safari and let's open up our reading list. There it is, offline? No, you can actually read your reading list items offline. These sync with iCloud, of course, and they download via cellular or Wi-Fi, just like that, folks, super easy. Now, of course, you're still offline, so you can't view other pages that you have not saved to reading lists, but the new thing about reading lists is that it saves your entire page, sort of like Instapaper. It's not just a link, but you can actually read it offline, which is really, really cool. But on the downside, Apple continues to bake in features from popular third-party apps, so it does have its negatives, but that's a topic for another video. Now, as you can see here, we have landscape mode, yes, right there in mobile Safari on the iPhone, and you can actually invoke landscape mode just by tapping that little button in the bottom right-hand corner. And that's not all. You also can go back and forth. There's some back and forth buttons that will appear if you navigate away from your primary page. For instance, if I open up, uh, let's see, Muscle Nerd Jailbreaks the iOS 6 beta, notice the back button there would ap that appears. If I go back, you get a new forward button. So those UI elements kind of pop up there when needed and when necessary, which is nice. I like that a lot. It's nice to have full screen Safari on the iPhone with no jailbreaks. Now let's talk about iCloud tab syncing. Now this probably sounds really simple to you. That's because it is. iCloud tab syncing does exactly what its name claims to do. It allows you to sync tabs over all of your iOS 6 enabled devices and it's extremely simple to use. All you do is you open up whatever web pages you want to view on your device. So we're just going to search, go ahead and open up iDownload blog on my iPhone here. And we'll just continue to open up a few additional tabs. So we'll just open these up in new pages like that. Let's go back a page. Let's open up something else here. How about that? Open in a new page. There we go. Now let's do one more just so we have a nice variety of different pages to sync our tabs with here. All right, so we have four different pages there. Now what we need to do, you see the four pages, let's open up Safari on our iPad now. And one thing you're gonna notice right off the bat is the little cloud icon that sits in the toolbar. That is of course for the new iCloud tab syncing. And all you do is you tap that little icon and then all your sync tabs will appear in a list. And conveniently, it'll actually tell you which device the list originates from. You can see where it says open on white. So that is open on my device, my white iPhone 4S. And it makes it really easy to identify where these tabs came from, which is really nice. So we just sync the tabs from our iPhone to our iPad. What about vice versa? Can you sync the tabs from your iPad to your iPhone? Well, of course you can. Any device that you have with iCloud enabled on iOS 6 and the uh, Safari option enabled will allow you to sync across each device. So as you can see, I just opened up our YouTube homepage right there. And if we head over to our device, our iPhone, then you'll notice that YouTube now appears in the iCloud tabs synced list there as well. So let's open up that tab. There's iCloud tabs and you see YouTube right there. So open on black, which is of course my iPad 3. So those are some of the features. There's actually one other feature I wanna show you that was just tipped to us by a Ben Madison. He shows how you can hold the back button or the forward button for that matter on the iPhone version of Safari and open up 
a, a list of previous history items there. So that's really nice. I know you could do that on the iPad with the previous versions of iOS, but this is something that appears to be new on iOS 6 for the iPhone. So that's a roundup of all the new features we were able to locate. I'm sure there are others. So let us know if you found anything new or what you think about all the new features for iOS 6 with regard to Safari. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.